So this is how to use the resources on Active Inspire. First of all, you go up to the view section and you go down until you get to browsers and you click on to browsers. And from here, if this doesn't come up, you need to use that second to left button, but hopefully it will come up. Then all of these basically are a plus, which leads you into more areas of the resources. So for example, and the backgrounds, it clicks and then you get a whole load more backgrounds, say so paper, um, you can just click on the paper and slide it across. I like to use that one a lot because it's for handwriting. And there you have your handwriting section. Or if you want to use, I know this yellow one, you just click on it, drag it across, and there it is. Um, from here, we can go down to the subjects is useful. The subjects we've got are art and so on. From here, um, maths is extremely useful. So if we just go down to mathematics, um, there's your mathematics. We can have um, backgrounds, which is all your dots and things. We can have a calculator. To get the calculator, just slide it across. And then from then on, you can use this calculator. 54 add 4 equals. So that's good fun. And the same with this one. This is more of an adult, not an adult, older child one. We've also got dartboards that you can use for addition. Click on it, slide it across, and you can use it. We've got dominoes, you can click on any dominoes for um, addition, fractions, we've got fraction walls, um, in geometry we've got all the, um, the geo boards, we've got in the measurement section, there's a very useful temperature chart, which you can click on and bring across, and then you can show the different centigrades and Fahrenheit on that, on that temperature. Um, we've also got money, Got numbers, playing cards, and just click on it and take a look and see what you think, what you can find time. Um, we've got an analog clock and a digital clock, so you can just click on these clocks, drag them across, and then you can move the hands as you like to. So that's that's really useful. Um, up here, we've all let me just get it to go a bit faster. We've also got the geography section. So so that came out of the geography section. So if I just do that get rid of it again, you plus geography, plus, I mean, I'm very interested in the maps on here. So that would have been like that when you saw it, you click the maps. For example, you can click, so you see how it works, and so you go plus and the, um, the other categories come in. So here we've got Belgium, if you're desperate for a map of Belgium, pop it across, and to make it bigger, you can make it bigger like this. And then of course, you've always got the option of, of your um, pen, so you can arrow things, or you've got your option of your text box, so you can write here. Um, I know here is Belgium, whatever you want to, whatever you want to write. I'll just quickly show you something else. There's just the sounds as well, which is always quite good fun. Um, there's the sound button. So, say for example, you'd like a fat animal sounds. I've got a bird, cat, chicken. I know. Let's have a chicken in Belgium. You pass the chicken in Belgium over here. You press play. And um, here we have the chicken in Belgium, making a noise, I hope. Is he going to make it? There it goes. And then if you want the cat to come and catch the, ch catch the chicken, you can have a cat. And there's the cat coming to catch the, catch the chicken in Belgium. Okay, so, so that's, if you lose this ever, just go through that same process, view, click browser on, and then that is the other button. And then remember all of these plus brings you into the other kind of layers of the of the resources and that's the end